Today, I will be giving you an overview of a periodic table. A periodic table looks like this, and you may have seen this in your textbooks or on your classroom wall. Periodic table is a series of boxes arranged in rows and columns. It is a very useful tool for organizing the elements. Each box includes the element's name. We have an example of hydrogen here, so that's hydrogen, the name. Element symbol, which is H right here. Element's atomic number, which is 1 right here. Atomic mass, which is right here, 1.008. And some periodic table might include ionic charges and other information. Today, about 118 elements are known. The periodic table is organized into seven horizontal rows, which are called periods. And this is a very, very important point. You need to know this. So periods are your horizontal rows right here. This is the first period, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and the seventh period. The properties of elements change as you move across a period, but the same pattern of change is repeated in each period. So basically what I'm saying is when you're moving from left to right, the elements gradually change from metal to non-metal. So in period, exception of period one, because in your period one you have both non-metals. In period two, you're starting from metals, you go to metalloids, and then you have non-metals. The same pattern is repeated again in period 3. You're starting from metals, a metalloid, and non-metals. It's repeated again. In period 4, you're starting from metals, metalloids, and non-metals, and so on. The periodic table is organized into 18 vertical columns that are called groups or families. There are 18 of them. The elements in a group tend to have similar chemical properties. This is your first one, right here, your second group, third, so on and so forth, and your last one is 18, right here. Okay. Similar chemical properties mean you're starting from here, all of them are metals, metals have same chemi chemical properties. Now, four groups actually have specific names to it. In group number one, they're called alkali metals. Group two, right here, is called alkaline earth metals. Group 17 right here, they're called halogens, they're all gases and a liquid. Group 18 are called noble gases, they're very, very unreactive. You're going to learn about these later in other videos. There are different types of elements in a periodic table. When you're looking at a periodic table, you can see a visible staircase line right here, if you're following. Okay, The staircase line separates elements with certain properties. If you can see right here, metals are on the left side of the staircase. All of them are colored in pink. Non-metals are on the right side of the staircase in blue. And metalloids are directly above and below the staircase. There is a quick summary of what we have learned so far. So we know periods, they're horizontal rows like that, going from metal to non-metal. Groups of family, they're vertical rows, there are 18 of them. Metals are on the left side of the staircase. Non-metals are on the right side of the staircase. Metalloids are directly above and below the staircase. And this is a particular box in a periodic table which shows the name of the element, the symbol, the atomic number, and atomic mass. If you want to learn about any of these topics in more detail, please look for other videos. The link are in the description. Thank you.